Ant-Man, what you need to know about the character. In honor of the Ant-Man movie, we've created this short video telling you everything you need to know about Marvel's Ant-Man. Ant-Man was created in 1962 by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby after the unexpected success of the series The Fantastic Four. First appearing in Tales to Astonish number 27, Henry Pym was a scientist who shrunk himself to the size of an ant. After getting into a fight with a nearby ant hill, he was brought back up to his lap and returned to normal size. For some reason, Pym's first appearance was a best-selling issue that month, so Henry Pym returned in Tales to Astonish number 35 as Ant-Man, a hero who absorbed Pym particles to make himself change size. And he had a helmet that could control ants. He stopped a second villain, a cross-dressing spy, by tying her shoelaces together. After a few forgettable adventures, Henry Pym was teamed up with a partner named The Wasp in Tales to Astonish number 44. Janet Van Dyne was an heiress to a famous scientist, but when her father died, Henry Pym altered her DNA so that she could grow wings when she shrunk, and they became crime-fighting partners. While The Wasp could fly to a crime scene, Pym just shot himself from a gun. She found herself immediately falling for Pym even though she was in her late teens and he was probably in his mid to late 30s. The two went to help start the Avengers with Ant-Man and the Wasp naming the team. Shortly after this, Henry Pym became Giant Man, Jai Ant Man, get it? But his increased size just made him a bigger target, and he became even more useless to the Avengers. When Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, and the Hulk quit the team, Giant Man became the Avengers leader, although he struggled to make the part work. It wasn't enough for Henry Pym to control ants and change his size and mass. He also wanted to be the world's best researcher on artificial intelligence, and invented Ultron, without the help of Tony Stark. Ultron became one of the Avengers' greatest villains, and even predated the Terminator whose genocidal program was designed using Pym's mental patterns as its basis. Ultron would go on to wipe out a country and develop a not-so-subtle Oedipus complex. The invention of Ultron caused Henry Pym to go insane, and he developed another persona, Yellow Jacket. As Yellow Jacket, he could fly when he shrunk. He also had a much cockier anti-hero attitude than either Giant Man or Ant-Man. During this time, Janet Van Dyne, the Wasp, decided that she should marry Hank Pym while he was still suffering a major identity crisis. Their marriage was a troubled one. After taking some time off, Pym rejoined the Avengers, but accidentally shot a surrendering villain in the back, and was put on trial by the Avengers. In Avengers, number 213, Pym had a complete mental breakdown and built a giant robot to attack them, so that he could come in and save the day. When his wife found out his plan, he hit her in what became one of the most infamous panels in all of comics. Pym's plan had failed. He got kicked out of the Avengers, and divorced from Janet. Pym spent most of his career after that recovering from the incident and did eventually return to have an on-and-off relationship with his ex-wife, Janet, as well as being a member of the Avengers. But the Ant-Man, who is the star of this movie, is the second one, Scott Lang. Who is Scott Lang? First appearing in Avengers, number 181, Scott Lang was a thief who studied electronics in prison, and was let out early for good behavior, where he was hired by Tony Stark to make the Avengers security system. In 1979, in Avengers premiere, number 47 and 48, Lang's daughter Casey fell ill, so he became desperate to help her, and broke into Henry Pym's lab, where he stole Henry Pym's Ant-Man suit. When he did this, he discovered that the only doctor who could save his daughter's life was being held hostage. Scott used the Ant-Man technology to save her, and in return, the doctor saved his daughter's life. After his daughter was safe, Lang went to return the suit to Pym, and turn himself in for his crimes. But it turned out that Henry Pym was watching Scott Lang the entire time, and was impressed by his work. Henry Pym allowed Scott Lang to keep the suit, but only if he used it for good. Scott Lang joined the Fantastic Four, as well as the Avengers, allowing Henry Pym to dedicate more time to researching his science. Scott Lang may have been a small hero in the eyes of the public, but he was the biggest hero in the world to his daughter, who later became the heroine known as Stature. There are some other size-changing heroes in the Marvel Universe, but this is really all you need to get a better viewing experience out of watching the Ant-Man movie. If you like this video, please check out our channel, Academics Today, or donate to our Patreon. We are currently going through the history of early comics. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe.